Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel from todaysiphone.com. Welcome to June 21st. At least that's what it is in my world right now. Could be something different in yours. Um, this is otherwise known as uh, new iPhone OS. I guess it's iOS 4.0 release date. Um, you just downloaded it probably, and now you're like, what do I? What's new? What can I do? I'm here to show you some of the big features. Obviously, you probably already noticed. Let me lock that and unlock it is you can now have a background picture which is cool but also can be annoying so I kind of have a darker one just you know to give it some flair but um, also new which you can probably already see is folders I have my folders I need to come up with different names because games games doesn't really work but um we got I have I had eight or nine pages before and now I only have two so I'll show you how folders works. Um, you got multitasking, which is the biggest one, and you got camera zoom. You got some other little features, but those are the ones I'm going to go over. All right, so let's start off with the biggest, which is multitasking. All right, multitasking is running more than one app at a time, but the problem is Apple, in order for your apps to do it, the app developers have to put in changes into the code. So what that means is not all your apps are going to be out of the box able to multitask. The Apple ones are going to be like the iPod, Safari, Messages, Phone, you know, those kind of apps are. But um, there's only a handful of apps right now that do. But luckily for us, one of them is Pandora. If you don't know what Pandora is, you've been living under a rock. So I'm going to skip the, the what Pandora is. Let's switch this radio station. Uh, let's go to Mac. All right, so um, um, how multitasking works is you hit the home button twice, and you it'll slide up, and you get a list of all the running apps right now. So right now, and you can scroll around. I only have five running: Mail, Phone, Facebook, Safari, and Messages. So, and if you scroll right over here, you get controls. You can pause it, which is Pandora is running right now, but if um, my iPod was running, you can do the same thing there. And you also have orientation lock here, which is pretty cool. You do that and it locks it. So let me show you how this works. All right, so as you can see, it's loading up and, and Pandora is still running. Pause it, skip song. I don't think you can go back in Pandora, so I don't know why that's really there. Yeah, you can't go back and Pandora, but you can skip it to the next song. And they have this orientation lock, which is nice. And so, if you're laying down, you can go and it won't switch. But the only problem is you can't do it when. Well, I mean, you can, but if you're in land, oh, I gotta turn this thing off. Okay, turn this thing off. And now you know it turns off. And but if you put it in lock in landscape mode, it switches it to portrait. So let's do folders here. Alright, so to open up a folder, you'll just tap on it and you get everything that's in there. But let me show you how to create a folder. Alright, so let me put weather onto maps. So you're just going to hold it down until they start to wiggle. And then you're just going to drag it on top of each other. And now you've made a, a folder and you can name it whatever you want to or they give you this name, which I'll leave it this name. And you can drag up to, I don't know how many, I think it's like six or nine apps in there at a time. And if you wanted to drag more in, you just drag it in. And that's a folder. Now, let's say you put one in that you don't want in there. You just drag it out again. And I don't want to put that in a folder. So there we go. It is now in a folder. Hit the home button, and they stop. So, And then I could open it up and use it. So that's how to manage folders. All right, so I've moved to the floor and now so you can better see the camera zooming options. So uh, you load up the camera, it looks just like usual. Tap to focus kind of stuff works. And then you get this zoom button. So it's all digital zoom. So it's, it's almost like cropping, I think, more than zooming. But, and you can zoom all the way in there and zoom out. And let me show you, taking a picture. And another feature is tap to focus in video. Obviously, before you could tap and you could focus on something. Let me put my finger out. All right, so you could 
tap on your finger before and it would focus on it and then you'd start videotaping but then as you moved you wouldn't it would, the focus would always stay but now you can focus on other stuff during the videotape so while I'm videotaping you can go from there to there as many times as I want and that's a nice feature alright so let me show you how to change the background first you're gonna go to settings then you're gonna go to wallpaper and you can now see you get a picture and you just tap in there and you can go to camera roll or you can go to wallpaper let's go to wallpaper because you don't want to see my thousands of pictures um, and we'll take this pretty flower and you can can you pinch and zoom? I guess you can't pinch and zoom on these you can pinch and zoom on the other pictures um, you can set, hit set and you can hit set and lock screen which is screen you know when when here I'll set that as a lock screen so now when I'm locked I get that and then it fades to that which is this is my home screen one so if I wanted to set as a home screen I would just click set as home screen or you can you also have an option to set as both which I think it's cool because it, it kind of looks nice I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com come on the 24th for all your iPhone 4 needs and you know we're covering all the other iPhones and iPads too so uh, I guess there's only one iPad um, but just come and we'll be excited to see you and also keep a lookout on your apps um, to see when they've updated for 4.0 alright I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com and I'm signing off